nipple cannon laser beams. The moment she started going like this and changing the gears, oh, bro, shit was gonna get real. This show is so ridiculous. You know what's even more ridiculous? Freed. This dude is unhinged, but the voice acting is so good. All his lines are just so unnecessarily BM. I love it, though. I fucking love He's a goon. He's an absolute demon, but still, he's hilarious. I'm like, you know what? Fine. We have ourselves a clear identified source of enemy, the church exorcists, right? However, don't forget that there's fallen angels in between. And they've been mentioning over and over that a certain fallen angel woman is behind all of this because the exorcist even freed was reporting back to her. What's going on? And also, are we really just a pawn? I can't believe the main character is a pawn, right? I mean, in chess, can't the pawn like get to the end of the board and like promote and evolve into something? I don't really know, but hopefully more than a pawn. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, she's healing him, right? Right, right, right. Because we gotta have close body contact. So we just hug and then she glows? Stray exorcist? Yeah, why is she serving him? No, that seems like kind of an important point. Hold up. Okay, but what about Asia? I don't even know what to call her. Asia or Asia? I'm gonna call her Asia. Yeah, this is true. But, but, it's only episode four. We can do this. Come on. We gotta save her from Farid. Get stronger. But I feel like doing pull-ups isn't gonna do anything. I feel like we need to somehow use her sacred gear training, you know? That's actually really impressive if you can do that. Now we're on a fucking children's playground. Feeling defeated. <laughs> Bro, we are just at our lowest point. Asia? Are you here? I mean, I guess during the daytime she's free to do whatever she wants. Hello. Convert to the devil. Wow, date with Asia? Really? Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was such a prolonged smile, bro. That was awkward. Hamburger. Hamburger. Yeah, you can eat with your hands. What are you gonna do? Use knife and fork, maybe? Big bite. Oh! Oh! Oh, she's so cute! Maybe this is the main ship! Wow, this is this classic date alive, just date, man. Just PowerPoint presentation of different shit going on, and the date's over. <laughs> oh wow, see, date alive for me. We even got the crane game. It's not specific to date alive, but you know, we've done this a lot for Toka. Oh, well, Toka likes you know soy flour bread. We gotta get her a Raichu, I guess. This has to be like a Pokemon reference, like Raichu, right? A treasure. I swear to God, if Ratsu gets hurt, if Free does something to it, oh my God, bro. The injury still. But if she tries to heal him, will it actually heal? Because, you know, devil, you know, and not an angel, but church person. I thought maybe it would. Wow, it actually works. I thought it would have like an opposite effect. Oh. Yeah, get up in there. Yeah. Pull the pants down. Never mind. <laughs> It can go through the clothes. God, that's too convenient. It's gotta be direct skin to skin contact. Her healing is ridiculous. Like better than how Rias can heal us. That's insane. Oh Jesus, that's heavy. Oh, what the fuck? How do we just go from healing to, oh, my parents abandoned me. You're not even from Asia. You're from Europe. Why are you named Asia? That's not a miracle. It's because she has a sacred gear, right? She can heal devils. I mean, I too intuitively thought that she could only heal, you know, non-devils. And if she tried to heal a devil, like, that would be, I don't know. Like, it would be the opposite effect, but that's really unique. So she is also a stray because of the ha shit that happened with the church, right? I feel like you shouldn't pray to some imaginary person. I feel like you need to save yourself or get some friends to help you. And I think the answer is right beside you, Asia. I'm gonna call her Asia from now. It feels weird to call her Asia when Issa calls her Asia. Oh my god. That's not even funny, it's just sad! Why the fuck is this getting so heavy? I'll be your friend. Yeah? Yo, this is some Itsuka Shido main character moment right now. Who cares if everyone rejects you? I'll be here for you! 
I'm just worried for that Rachu, man. I feel like Freed is gonna do something terrible to it. Hmm. Yeah? What? I thought you were gonna say I love you. Fallen Angel? It's Yuma for episode one? Reina is Sama. Maybe the Fallen Angel that's ordering the exorcists around is Yuma, right? Yuma's the one that's been you know, leading this. Yeah, Freed is an absolute scumbag, but goddamn, he's funny. Yuma's design is insane, bro. What is this, bro? This is I can't even get angry at her. How could I, bro? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, she's talking down to us, guys. Oh. Oh my god, that design, bro. Yo, get your gauntlet out. Get your gauntlet out. There we go. But is it enough, though? What? What? A twice critical? What, is, what does that mean? Huh? Sacred gear. But it's like a really shitty sacred gear. Doubles your power. I mean, that's kind of... I mean, that's kind of okay, right? What do you mean? Doubling power sounds OP! But damn, this really feels like you're showing your manhood to a girl and she just fucking laughs at you. <laughs> Stop it! This bitch! But she set us up how you- Oh my god. But... Oh. Oh. Come on, double it! Bruce tool. And we're already dead. <laughs> Come on, give me the power. Boost toll. Great. <laughs> we're done. Are we done? Can it really just be twice though? Can you... What if he like... Because like, there's got to be an OP power. Right? What if he can like continue to double up? Like fuck it. Exponentially. Like twice. Squared. Cubed, you know, like quadruple. Fucking no, there's gotta be a reason. This has to be like a special twice critical that she's overlooking. Or else people wouldn't have said that it's like a very important sacred gear you have to be scared of, right? Another one to the stomach. Oh shit. Dude, she looks so good though. Ayuma looks so good. Rachu! Rachu? No, Rachu! Where did Rachu go? I thought Rachu get hit by the fucking spear! God, she is... She is busted, man. She is busted. Oh my god. You must decide. Oh my god. No, again? You can't let her get away! Lucky girl, man. Look where her head is. Again? Another fucking episode back to back where we can't do anything? Bro... This is just pathetic at this point, isn't it? Oh god, here comes a here comes a transition scene. What's it gonna be? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh Jesus, Jesus! I forgive me, forgive me, Lin. Oh, she just got slapped. True. True. That we're just a pawn, Riaz. What's going on, huh? Yes! Unless it makes it across the board and then it can like promote, right? And then what happens? Although at the end then promote <gasps> Okay. Turn into a queen, we can be like Akino. Okay. The greater your willpower, the more powerful. I just feel like the hornier he gets, the stronger he'll become, man. It just makes sense for this kind of anime, right? Willpower my ass. He's right. He's also right. He is a pretty boy. Oh, damn! Yo, keep us clutching for us. The Koniko will come, right? Koniko, come on. Yeah, Koniko's ready to scrap. Look at her. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. yo, Koniko's kind of talking big. Who is this girl? Oh, is this what Akino Riasu get? It? Yeah. I feel like she's gonna get immediately zapped. This is 2v1. Oh, they know! Okay. Riaz is so against it. No, you can never fight a fallen angel! But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, you can promote, bro. You can just promote, bro. 
Koneko goes rogue. Koneko, just pick, just bust the door open. Kick it down. <laughs> and we got to see our panties. Light green. This does look like a fallen church. Freed, my man! <laughs> I actually love him. I love him, too. <laughs> I hope that he's a continuing character. I don't want him to die this episode, man. He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> Damn, I just love that he's a gun and a sword, too. Look at this facial expression. <laughs> oh, my God. Even the tongue treatment. It's 3v1, bro. You think you can do this? Koneko, throw a bookcase again? Not again! Are you... Okay, could you imagine if he fucking got hit again? I mean... So that's her whole thing. She just loved doing bookcases. This is actually quite impressive from Free. It's 1v3. Damn, Kiba. Yeah, pretty boy can fight. He's the knight. Oh, Black Blade? Huh? What? What is this? Holy Eric. Damn, this is like an actual counter to light weapons. Is everybody have a secret key? Rusto! I love that, dude. Don't see just the other guy that we met already. Does it just work like that, though? Oh! He did turn into a rook! Clinical punch? Oh, shit! Oh! I thought that he would just assume the position of queen every time. But he can just, like, transform into a different piece. But also interesting that the bishop is still not a thing. Maybe Ashia is the bishop. Kinda makes sense, thematically, right? All she does is just throw heavy objects at you. It's fun. It's actually hilarious. Bye bye. I'm actually glad he got away. I I, I honestly I love this character, bro. Oh. You sure y'all can take them on? Maybe I can over one B two right now. Lightning. Oh. Can she use like a lightning sword? Oh, transformation. She's looking like a shrine maiden! Dang. Actual shrine maiden. Ashia. It hasn't happened just yet though, right? Third time's a charm. No way. We don't save her again, right? Damn, bro. Don't look at you, though. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Ashia. I'm getting too horny for Yuma. What's, the, what's her plan? Extract Ashia's powers? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's still moaning! She'll probably just be gone if you extract the sacred gear, right? <laughs> Did you really have to do that with the nipple? No! Issei, get in there! God, Yuma's ass is so thick, bro. And then Yuma can just heal herself. Bro, the pacing is insane. We're just getting right into it again, again, again. Freed is back. Yuma's back. Fucking Donasu. I don't even know their names. I have no worry that Riaz and Akino will handle on their side. But on our end, how the fuck are we supposed to win? Like, Kiba and Koneko are really competent. But, like, Issei needs to step up. It's been mentioned that, you know, his sacred gear is supposed to be super OP. But Yuma looked at it. Oh, I twice. Critical. That's it. What a fucking joke, but there's gotta be a twist to this. It can't be just twice critical. What if again, this can continue double and double and double and double? It's gotta be some power like that. It doesn't make sense, right? I mean, we got to learn about the promotion effect, but it's not enough that we're copying like the Rook's ability to just brute force and other shit, right? It's gotta be some other way that we can pop up using our own sacred gear. And the bishop piece. I think this will be safe for Ashia. I think it just makes sense thematically. Her being some kind of holy person, the bishop has the, I don't know, religious shit. Man. But anyways, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.